Say you receive an email from your bank asking you to click on a link to check a suspicious transaction and you want to know if it's authentic or not. First, you need to know about the different parts that make up a URL. If you hover the cursor over the URL, it will display the website address that the link will take you to. URLs work in the same way as a physical address. Let's break that down for you. In the example, mybank.com, the .com part is the top-level domain, like the country in a physical address. My bank is the primary domain. It's like the company name and tells you who owns the web page. A safe primary domain would be one you're familiar with. Hackers will try to create a look-alike domain by adding information you'd expect to see somewhere near the domain, like a prefix, for example. In this example, let's make it security.mybank.com. Security is separated from the primary domain by a dot, which makes it a subdomain. Subdomains are a bit like departments within the company, if we think back to the URL as a physical address. In a URL that looks like security.mybank.com forward slash login forward slash main, login and main are separated from the subdomain by forward slashes and are known as subdirectories. Think of these as the filing cabinets and drawers in a specific department of a company. Now, this is where you need to be extra vigilant when you're hovering over the link in an email. If, for example, the URL reads mybank.securitylogin.com, mybank.com is not the primary domain, and the link would not take you to your bank's website. The primary domain is security login. And that's the website this link would take you to. Although my bank is also in the URL, that doesn't mean this is the correct web address for your bank. Here are a few other signs of malicious or fake links to look out for. Dot splitting the domain name like my.bank.com. Because of the dot, this link will take you to bank.com and not mybank.com. Extra words and hyphens in front of the domain name, such as security-mybank.com. This link will take you to security-mybank.com and not mybank.com. Spelling errors or variations. If you're not paying attention, it's easy to miss slight differences in spelling. So always read the URL carefully. If in doubt, ignore the link and log into your account by searching the bank's website or using the address in your browser's history. It's well worth taking a few extra seconds to keep yourself safe.